couple of hours ago while I was cooking dinner I was making uh, tacos and while I was cooking up the taco meat I always like to cover it with foil and when I went to remove the foil earlier I got a blister on my finger from the steam I don't know if you can see it it's right in here anyway it got so big that it's already ruptured once see there it's already ruptured once and it's already poofing back up again so what I'm gonna do to remedy that is I'm gonna take some mouthwash I put it in it in the lid so that I didn't pour too much then a regular cotton ball and I'm gonna pour it on the cotton ball and then just apply to the blister the alcohol in the mouthwash helps dry up the fluids that build up in a blister whether it's one from shoes or you burnt yourself or something like that and you know probably a regular mouthwash just plain would be best but all I had handy at this moment was mint so that's what I'm putting on it so we'll see tomorrow what it looks like a little bit ago I filmed a clip showing you guys that I had blistered my finger with some steam and I put mouthwash on a cotton ball and then put it on my finger it's not even the next day it's just the same night just maybe an hour and a half later and as you can see it's all down great use for a bar of soap you have electrical cords in a puppy <laughs> and you're seeing bite marks on your electrical cords to stop that well this one obviously is not being bit on by a puppy one I don't have a puppy but two um, I kind of keep this one put away because it goes to this camera and well I don't want to have to replace it but you would just take the cord any kind of electrical cord it could be one that plugs into the wall gently go over it with a bar of soap if you get too much kind of like that use your fingers wipe it all around the next time your puppy goes to bite into it it's going to be a, a bitter yucky taste in its mouth making them want, not want to chew on the electrical cords and not only does it stop the puppy but then you don't have to get on to them for doing it because that's what always broke my heart when I had a puppy is if I had to get on to them for whatever they're doing because I'm a big time dog lover so yeah that always broke my heart I wish I'd have known this tip when I did have puppies in the house <laughs>